Hello YouTubers, Cthulhu back with you again, this time with the review of the Creo Transformers Optimus Prime. Uh, this is the uh, smaller set, uh, I found it at Target for I think for 7 bucks. Uh, I guess you could say this is the G1 version. Um, only 90 pieces in this guy. I got Bumblebee, he's like 300 and some. But uh... I, what I'll probably do, um, since these guys don't actually transform, you just build them one way or the other. Um, I'll show you, I actually have two primes, so I can show you both modes on him. I'll probably just throw uh, B's vehicle mode at the end of this one, show it off a little bit, and then rebuild him, and then show you the mode up, uh, robot mode. So. But anyway, here's the uh, vehicle mode. Um, pretty much used all the pieces uh, in this mode. Only thing that was left was, of course, his head because there's really nowhere to put that. And uh, these gray pieces right here on the back, and there's two red ones are not like per instruction supposed to be on there. But other than that, uh, pretty much uses all the piece. In robot mode, the only thing that is left is this long black one here that's like the bottom frame of them. But a uh, pretty neat little truck mode. Uh, comes with a couple stickers to put on there. These aren't actually like printed on the bricks. Uh, helpful hint with the stickers on these guys. Um, not that you want to screw up putting stickers on something anyway, but uh, these things are like zero tolerance. Uh, once they go on there, they stick on there. That is one reason I have two primes. The Autobot symbol on my first one actually got kind of stuck on the sticker sheet and ripped kind of across the bottom there and um, actually while I was putting this one together I put uh, one of these little I guess turn signal headlight ones on wrong and I was like well okay I'll just peel it off no big whoop yeah that, that, that wrecks the sticker like completely gets rid of all the design on it so helpful hint when you're doing the stickers on these things, uh, like I said, not that you'd want to mess them up anyway, but be careful. Um, so anyway, I guess those license plates, this is Optimus Prime, if I can get rid of the glare on it. Jiminy Christmas. There we go. Um, you can tell it's Optimus in truck mode, what can I say? Um... But the meat and potatoes usually you buy Transformers for are the robot mode. So we'll drive him off and... Uh-oh. Badoosh. Sound effects provided by, well, my cell phone, actually. But uh, there he is in robot mode. Good grief, this thing picks up the light. Let's see if that helps. What the deal with the glare is, guys. Sorry about that. Um, you know, for a, well, not Lego, but for a block-based figure, actually really cool looking. Doesn't have any knees. Does have kind of an upper leg joint. And his heels can move around. But pretty cool. I mean, you get the little license plate with his name there. The... Autobots there. Uh, normally the uh, headlight turn signal would go here, but like I said, they uh, messed up on me. So yay for having two. But you know, you can you can tell it's Optimus. Um, this guy went together fairly quick. His head does swivel around. It's on like a little ball joint. Um, pretty cool. I uh, got shoulder in and out, and arms up and down. Like he, I kind of like it. Like it's, it's like he folds up to almost transform. But you know, be really cool if they made it, or you know, could actually transform him. I really don't see it happening just because of how the things lock together. Are they like Legos? Uh, very much so. Um, the only denotable difference is you can kind of see about every other peg is kind of like hollowed out. But um, pretty nice little figure here. Uh, I think he ran me, like I said, about seven ninety nine. Not too bad, you know. Got two of them. Can't complain. 
Especially since I mucked up the stickers. So now I actually have one good one with good stickers. And I'll probably give the other to a friend that was kind of interested in them and not all that particular about things. Uh, fairly good size. Um, old reliable can of Coke there. So, I don't know what the deal with the glare is on this, guys. I really do apologize on that. He is not, like, he's he's a lighter red than the can of Coke, but not as light as this light is making him out to be. Um, sorry, I don't know what the deal with that is. Um, but, yeah, pretty cool. And uh, since I only have one of them, and he is a lot more pieces than Optimus there, I'll go ahead and show you the vehicle mode of Bumblebee, which is pretty cool. Um, took a little bit of time to get him together. He is not that faded yellow. Again, apologize for whatever is causing that horrible like feedback on the light. Very sturdy, uh, wheels roll. It's not like officially the new Camaro mode, just kind of inspired. I know the Sideswipe one is uh, his like old school red racing car, uh, but actually has opening doors. And uh, they come with, uh, he is called Driver. Not, not Spike, he's just a driver. That's what the box is. Little kind of minifigures there. You can ride inside. He also comes with Mini Bumblebee. Which I really like the old school, like, horned Bumblebee. Uh, pretty poseable little things. Standard. Lego people. Posability. Hasbro would probably sue me for referring to their product as much as Legos. but And then actually, for some random reason, a little red alert. Um, my local target has Bumblebee, um, Sideswipe, and Prowl. I know they do make a movie Optimus and a movie Megatron. For these guys, I just haven't seen them. Um, <laughs> you know, honestly, it's it's gonna break my heart to tear to, to take this apart because it's not like, you know, in the instruction booklets, it's build the vehicle mode first. That usually helps you get all your stickers on and everything. But uh, even it's got, see it in there, a little steering wheel. There's even a little gear shift beside the driver's seat. Um. Got his name plate there. Much like Prime. And uh, it was a bit of a to-do. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, so I might splurge and just buy another one. <laughs> because it's not like you like... I mean, actually, the front bumper and rear bumper, you actually, you know, you don't just build onto it. You build and then snap it onto it. But apparently you don't use any of it over again in robot mode. Um, he is 335 pieces. Um, vehicle mode. You actually, oh, it also comes with, I guess, for all the humans, a little old school Ninja Turtles hold the weapons thing, which I kind of like. Um, actually, has a weapon for vehicle mode, so I guess you could play out the stealth mode thing. Um, the instructions actually have you put this under here, like so it's doubled up. You can snap it anywhere. I just don't like the look of it personally, so I'll leave it off of vehicle mode. But, uh, I mean, got a little chunk of pieces left there. I think about 30 of them. So you're looking at this here is about 300, slightly over 300 pieces in this little thing. Most of it, most as with most big Lego things, is just filler to make it solid. Um, but pretty cool. Uh, I will get a robot mode version of him one way or the other, whether buying another one or rebuilding this. 
and then I'll do a video. Uh, I actually uh, did it with Optimus, or no, did it with the vehicle mode of this. Uh, decided to like record myself doing it, and then like do time lapse. But uh, yeah, that wasn't happening. It still took forever. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. I uh, got the big bumblebee, just so you know what you're looking for. Comes in a huge box. Oh wow, that actually got the coloration on them, kind of right. Um, comes in a huge box compared to Prime. But, pretty cool. Comes with a little handle on top there, so you can look like a super dork walking through the store. But uh, there they are, the Creos. Like I said, I will get a robot mode of Bumblebee very soon, I promise. Um, pretty good size little car there. And until next time, stay tuned.